Hello, I know it's been a little while since I've made some videos for uh, uh, the Ferris Academy, but I'm back. Um, long hiatus, lots of work related stuff. Uh, so I'm back and I'm going to do a little bit of Unity um, for this one. So I've been writing some text based tutorials on my downtime, and these are basically just going to complement the text based tutorials. So I'll go ahead and get started. In this one, we're going to just create some kind of projectile that we cast out from the player. It's going to be really simple and give you an overview of how to use the engine with script and uh, kind of bounce around and how easy it is. So we'll, we'll start by going to the hierarchy and hitting create, then click on the cube. And you'll get a cube here. So uh, just type in these parameters, do 0 0.07 on uh, the x uh, 0 0.07 on the y and keep the z as 1. Next we're going to go ahead and add a rigid body. So go to components at the top menu, physics, and rigid body. And this is going to be the basis for our bullet. Um, so we can just go ahead and rename that as well. So we can call it bullet. And we're just going to use this prefab to kind of just cast out from the object that we're going to use as a player. So drag the bullet from the hierarchy into the project and you'll see that it creates a prefab. Now we can delete it from the hierarchy. Now in the hierarchy let's create a capsule. That'll be the basis for our um, player. And let's rotate him 90 degrees on the Y so that when we shoot over here in our game window it'll come out from the left or right because our camera is on uh, this side. So one thing we're going to need to do is create a script for us to kind of shoot. So go up here to your project, hit create, C sharp script, and let's name that one shooter. Uh, yes. So that creates our script called shooter. And then let's double click it to open. It may take a while for mono develop to open on your machine, so give it a second. But once it opens, you're going to get this basic layout. Um, I'm going to clean it up because I hate excess, I hate when code looks ugly like it, uh, like it did when it started out. So um, notice we left this update. I'm going to make it private just because I'm used to putting, you know, private, public, protected um, in front of my, my uh, functions and variables in classes because it's a lot cleaner and it explains it a lot faster. Um, if I didn't put private before void, it would have been private anyways, but this makes it a lot easier for someone that's reading, uh, maybe even people that don't know much about C Sharp to come in and understand it if they know another language like C++ that's relevant to C Sharp. But that's all semantics. So let's start off by going to the very top of our class, and we're going to add in two public variables. We're going to add a public game object, and we're going to call this bullet, and we're going to set it to null, and let's create a public uh, float and we're going to call it bullet speed and we're going to set that to 500. Now that we've set this up, um, we can go ahead and start in our update and do uh, and, and bind our keys to do something. So binding keys in Unity is actually really easy. So we can just say if uh, input capital I dot get key down. This means that when I press the key down, this is going to happen. And only when I press the key down, not when it's held down. Uh, if you want to hold down a key, you would say get key instead of get key down. So go to keycode.f for fire. And when we fire, I'm going to create a couple comments here um, so that you can kind of get what's going on. Uh, check if the F key is pressed down on the keyboard and down here let's add a comment instantiate the bullet using the prefab oh, spelled prefab wrong prefab and store it into the shot variable uh, so before we continue on down here I want to associate our prefab bullet to this class. So let's save the class, go back to Unity, and drag this shooter class onto the capsule. And you'll see nothing happens, but when you click the capsule, you'll see it over here. The first thing you'll see uh, for this script is the bullet says none for the game object. 
So all we have to do is grab this bullet and drag it on top of here, and now it's associated. Um, now we can head back to our script and finish it up. So inside of our script, let's do game object shot is equal to game object dot instantiate uh, bullet and transform dot position. This is the position of the capsule because this script is attached to the capsule. So transform dot position is the position of the capsule. And uh, likewise, we're going to do uh, transform dot rotation. Next, uh, we need to add force to our bullet, otherwise it's just going to instantiate on the capsule and fall, and we don't want that. Uh, also, before we do that, let's add some distance from the position. If we set it to the position of the capsule, it's going to pop up inside the middle of the capsule, and we don't want that. So let's just go ahead and add transform.forward, which is the forward vector, which is the um, direction that the capsule is facing. We're going to multiply that by 2, so we're going to offset it by 2 units from wherever the uh, capsule is facing. So let's uh, finish our comment. Uh, add force to the instantiated bullet's rigid body. So uh, we'll just get our shot reference uh, up here that we got from instantiating this bullet prefab. Let's get its rigid body. And let's add force, which is a function, and we just need to pass in a vector three. So we want to we want to shoot it forward from the the player. It's going to go in whichever way the player is facing. So we use transform dot forward again, like we used to offset it, and then we multiply that by our bullet speed. Uh, so this is going to add a lot of force, which is 500. It, it won't seem like a lot of force. Uh, 500 does seem like a huge amount of force, but when you see it in the engine, it won't really look like a lot of force. So you may want to up that inside of the editor, which I'll show you as well. So lastly, I want the bullet to disappear whenever it collides with anything. So we're going to use Unity's built-in function, um, private void on collision enter collision C and in here we're just gonna add a comment destroy oops, destroy this object when it collides with anything and we're actually uh, sorry we are not gonna add this script into here we're gonna add it into a bullet script so let's just cut this out don't mind my computer, it talks whenever I copy stuff. Um, sorry about that. So, uh, let's save this out. Our shooter has is now finished. So, we can save that out, open up Unity, let's create another script called Bullet, and let's open up that script. So, in here we have the same kind of nasty looking stuff. Let's just clean it up real quick. Okay, and we're going to paste what we cut out of the other one, the on collision enter, into this one. And we're going to say on collision enter game object dot destroy game object with a lowercase g on this one. And we're finished with the bullet. So now all we need to do is drag this bullet script onto our bullet prefab. Uh, blah blah blah, there's errors, let's figure out what the errors are. I probably misspelled something and um, Actually, I forgot to typecast. Asked game object. So we need to typecast it as a game object because this method outputs an object. So we need to typecast it as a game object. Save that out. Clears that error. Put that bullet script on top of this bullet. You'll see now that it's at the bottom. And now uh, if we hit play, we press F a few times, you'll see that these bullets kind of just fly out. And they kind of go on forever. We so let's create a uh, let's just create a plane or a cube, whatever. Smash it down and let's make kind of like a, a floor thing in here. There we go. So now I'm gonna zoom this one out. I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna hit F, and you can see that the bullet didn't go through the floor. As soon as it hit the uh, the floor it disappeared otherwise you'd see it down here kind of flying through and also you'd see that it keep it, it disappears over here from our hierarchy 
so there we go we have some bullets flying out um, let's increase the speed just because it'd be more fun so click on our capsule go to our shooter script make this like a thousand um, hit play and now you can see it's shooting much further so this needs to be like 10,000 to be, make like some bullet fly really far really fast uh, so that's it. That's uh, how you create a bullet. That's how you instantiate it from the player and you shoot it out from them. And uh, we're done.